already we learn about the normal curve and to find out the area so already the material is given to you okay you have to just uh, go through it the data to find out the area for the normal curve okay so i will read the problem for you a batch of 100 deep groove ball bearing have the normal distributed failure time with the mean of 8000 hours and the standard deviation as the 600 hours and so how many bearings are likely to be failed within the first 8800 hours okay so the areas below the standard normal distribution curves from 0 to z the table is given for you okay so so what is the given data so first the mean the mu is given that is mu is equal to 8000 hours and uh they have asked the uh, okay so they have given the standard deviation so standard deviation is the 600 hours along with that they have given or they have asked us to find out how many bearings are likely to be failed within first 8800 hours okay. so that is what they have asked that is how many bearings how many bearings are there how many bearings are there okay so that they have asked to us to find out so i will draw on the normal distribution curve for the better understanding okay so this is the normal distribution curve okay now what is there now here over here the mu value is there that is 8000 hours okay and with the standard deviation of the 600 hours will be there there okay so the how here this will go to positive infinite side this will go to the negative infinite side okay and this is what the mean where the z value is the exactly zero okay z value will be the exactly zero over here here and this is what the mean is the 8000 hours okay so x1 will lie somewhere over here that is 8800 hours okay so the x1 will lie over here okay and they have asked us to find out the how many bearings are going to be failed within first that is which is starting from over here and which will lie up to 8800 hours so this is what the area we are interested okay to find out the to find out the bearings number of bearings okay now i already told you the characteristic of this normal distribution curve that is this is what the y axis so half of the area is the point 5 and uh, left half is the point half okay so this will total will become one okay so i will split the area i will write down a1 area and this is what the a2 area so specifically i will write what is the a1 a1 is the area area below normal distribution curve from 0 to sorry from minus infinity to 0 okay and that I know that is the point 0.5 point 0.5 that I want to know now what is the a2 area below the standard normal distribution curve from 0 to what 0 to c over here from 0 to 8800 0 to 8800 hours okay so which is unknown which we need to be calculate now how to find out so z okay we have the formula z is equal to x1 minus mu divided by standard deviation divided by standard deviation so the values i will write 8800 minus 8000 divided by 600 so this will come as a positive 1.33 positive 1.33 okay now we have to find out the area with the line, line, linear interpolation so i will write by linear 
interpolation area a2 i want to find out okay so over here if you look over the table 1 1.1 1.2 okay and uh, we are going to find out the bar the a2 area it is the 1.33 so i will split this 1.33 as how i can split 1.3 plus 0.03 okay that is the first is a 1.3 and 0.03 so over here in this table you can see this is the 1.3 okay and here value is the 0.4032 i'm going to write over here 0.4032 plus the area of area of 0.03 okay how to write out area of 0.03 i will write area of 0.4192 minus 0.4032 divided by 1.4 minus 1.3 okay and multiply it with the 0.03 okay so see over here as per the table 0.4192 that is the area of 1.4 minus the area of 1.3 which is 0.4032 divided by 1.4 minus 1.3 okay so this is the whole bracket i will write down in the whole bracket multiply by 0.03 that is the area of we are going to find out the area 0.03 okay so by making the sum i will get I will get the value as a 0.4085. But don't forget, we have calculated this area for the A2. Okay, and we need the area. We need the area of A1 plus A2. So this will become 0.5 plus 0.4085, which will become 0.9085. 0.9085. That is. That is the number of bearings which are likely to be failed within first eight thousand eight hundred hours are nothing but the ninety point eighty five percent. Okay, so that will be your answer. That will be your answer.